starting this September until next year. So immediately after the erection of the diocese last year, uh, of uh, Bishop Antigi gave importance to the Catechetical Commission. That is why when we are celebrating our Golden Jubilee. So the present profile of our commission, we three priests are composed of six. We, we are composed of six priests working in the commission. I as the director, assistant director and treasurer, Father Elde Kabuha, District One Director, Father Jesse Sumchera, District Two Director, Father JB Manalo, District Three Director, Father Jun Balia, and District Four, Father. Uh, Francis Kahlo and uh, the counterpart in this district uh, sister coordinators and uh, lay coordinators so this is the present situation of our catechetical uh, ministry number of countries we have 1985 divided by district District 1, 346. District 2, 819. District 3, 531. And District 4, 289. That does not include our uh, student classes, from mostly from the same schools. Okay. So, ito naman po yung uh, yan, uh, voluntary categories, student categories. We have also seminarians. Religious sisters, religious teachers. Okay. From this three one to four. Activities yearly meron po ang commission ng uh, ay po na, Mission Anolita. We are able to recruit an average of 80 Catholics per year. Pero out of uh, 80 Catholics we renew recruits mga 10 to 20 naman yearly din na namamasay ng aktivista. So, ano po ang mga Then, we already have a lesson plan for grades 1 to 10 students. And this is being uh, updated every 3 years. Very revised po yan every 3 years. Yan uh, lesson plan from grades 1 to 10. Okay. Of course, we have our annual retreat for the Catechists. They're all going for mission and uh, yung recollection nila by the uh, and by district and other activities. Now we want to present to you the golden jubilee celebration of the Catechetical Commission starting on so September 2018. We divided the whole year into four quarters. We will have the opening celebration on September. Then the first quarter, that will be October, November, December, focusing on the priests, ang pari bilang pangmanahing katekista ng parokya. So we will have our activities for the priests during those months, on the diocesan level and also on the parish level. The second quarter, we will January to March, there will be a two to three minute video and representation in all parishes in all Sunday masses before the final blessing. The first on uh, the Sundays of January, ang ipapalabas ang asaysayan ng katekesis sa diocese ng San Pablo. The second, the Sundays of February, ang buhay ng katekista. At the uh, Sundays of March, ang pangangailangan ng katekista. So yun po ang second quarter activity. Third quarter, April, May, June, ito po ay para naman sa mga katekista mismo na magkakaroon ng mga outing, sports fest, and pilgrimage. Yung three months na yun ang third quarter. And the last quarter, July, August, September, we will have categories on the parish level, on the district level, and on the diocesan level. Of the caliph level, so July, August, September, 
that we would have the closing on September 2019 of the Golden Jubilee. Pagpaparangal sa mga pamilya. So dahil po ito ay isang uh, Golden Jubilee celebration, we will give the diocese three gifts. May regalo ang Catechetical Commission sa diocese. Unang regalo, pre-sacramental modules. Uh, Nalaman po namin na hindi pala uniform ang binibigay ng mga seminars sa ibang sacramento sa parokya. So, we are preparing pre-sacramental modules for baptism, confirmation, first communion, even matrimony. This will not take the place of the present uh, module being given by family and life. Pero it will help. It may help also. No? So, yeah. So, we will launch that on the opening of the Catechetical uh, Jubilee year. Second, yan yan po yung mga kinihahan ng mga modules. We have our research team sa commission who are composed of uh, former professors of Canosa and uh, Assumption. They are the ones doing the uh, modules. Second gift to the diocese, to increase the number of student categories. To encourage our late grades, 11 to 12 students from Catholic school to teach Catechism. At present, and the number of eight grades, 9 and 10. Pero if they will be studying at the same school, especially uh, uh, the Yosisan school, we encourage them to continue on teaching until grade 12. Ito ang mahalaga. We will professionalize our Catechism. How do we professionalize our categories? We will ask the director of the diocesan school, Father Philip, to request the Deaf Ed Laguna to allow our Liceo schools to offer two-year religious studies for the grades 11 and 12. So meaning to say, in the general academic strand, our schools, Liceo schools, can offer religious studies for the students and upon graduation in grade 12, they will be considered professional tactics. I think, I don't know if I may say yes, at present, our uh, religious teachers in our uh, schools are not really graduates of religious studies. They are major in science or Filipino or English and being asked to teach, to teach religion. So, this will remedy the situation na uh, we will professional our categories, yung two-year, 11, 12 religious studies, and we will ask the school to hire these professional categories at the same time, na tuto sa mga public school, sila ang magiging uh, religious studies teacher, religion teachers. So, our commission will be preparing the syllabus for approval of the death care in, in Laguna. And the last, it on something new, the third game of the diocese, associate categories. Ano po itong associate categories? Marami tayong mga lay leaders, very active parishioners, that they cannot be full-time sa categorical commission just because they cannot give it to the demands yung monthly meeting, monthly recollection, retreat, etc. But they are sympathizers of the commission, no? So, we are coming up with this solution, associate categories. Ito yung mga active lay leaders that they will be asked to teach only one hour a month. One hour a month. Sa ating, uh, they will focus on public high school, hindi sa mga elementary. Kasi ang regular catechists, they are already teaching sa elementary. Associate catechists will be teaching public high school. And they will focus on the moral teachings of the church. Kasi ito yung need ngayon ng mga kapatangan. No? So, ano ba yung mga issues, moral issues na gusto magkaroon ng kasalanan ng mga kapatangan sa ngayon? No? So, yung mga doctrines, yan ay binibigay na sa elementary 
and our uh, five public high school students more or less tell us what they did. Pero ano man ang yung moral teachings of the church regarding the different issues of crossing our youth. Lepawa, you give them the topic on uh, uh, premarital sex. Oh. Ano ang sinasabi, ano ang premarital sex? That's one. Second, ano sinasabi sa scriptures? So premarital sex. Then third, ano ang tinuturo ng simbahan? Then last, reflection on the topic. So, ang structure nito, parang sa homily din. No? The topic, scripture basis, teaching of the church, then reflection. So, paano kong gagawin dito sa Associate Hargis? We will be asking your help as Paris Priest, as uh, Prophet Vicar, to recruit our active lay leaders to become Associate Hargis. To give at least one hour a month to teach in the public high school, in the public high school. Oh. We have prepared topics. Ito na po yung mga topics. Diba iba? Yan, abortion, divorce, yan, premarital sex, at iba iba pa. Na napakasimple, kayo rin po ang magtuturo sa mga associate catechists na bibigyan namin kayo ng copies nito nandito na yung sinabi ko sa inyo introduction, what, what, uh, what is the topic then scripture basis, then uh, teachings of the church, then reflection na itong mga associate catechists we will be asking our uh, regular catechists to ask the principals to allow associate catechists to teach at least once a month one hour a month to our public high school. Kasi nga ay marami sa mga kumataan, hindi naman ay tindihan na yung moral teachings of the church. Pero kung wala naman tinuruan ko sila ng moral doctrine, ay wala sila masyadong interes. Ano ko ba? About Holy Trinity, about the virginity of Mary, about the... You know, the four books are important, pero ang kailangan ng kumataan na yun, yung mga issues na nakaka-apekto sa kanila. Kaya, We have to reach out to our high school students through this associate candidates at ito ay napakataling sa kanila dahil hindi ganun kapigat yung demand. Only one hour a month for them to teach the moral teachings of the church. So lastly, mamayon yung question about these things. Lastly, How do we go on with the year-round activity of the Commission, the Golden Anniversary? Uh, I will ask Father uh, Elde, as our treasurer, to... There is also a proposed fundraising for this, which will also involve the Catechist in the parish. Of course, this has to be known by you and approved by all. So, huwag yun ang magpapos na lahat. Para po mas pontahan itong uh, isang taong uh, programa ng aming commission sa uh, catechist ay nagsisip po kami ng uh, fundraising kung paano makapag-raise uh, ng pondo para nga po dito sa mga activities na ito. So, ito po dahil na uh, celebration nga po ng uh, golden So, limang po para sa limang po. So, ang uh, fundraising po na ito, yung uh, mga parokya na may mga katikista, eh, kukuha po na tipi sponsors ano, na magbibigay ng tipi pesos o man. So, bali, yung pong isang uh, sponsor, sa one year, eh, magkakaroon ng bibigay siya o makapagbibigay siya ng uh, 600, uh, 600 pesos. So, yun po. So, yung ibang po sponsors, bali tayo po sa 600, doon po sa isang taon, at uh, yun po ang magiging uh, ponto para po sa activities na ito. Kasi po, malaki po talaga ang uh, 
gastos ng Catechetical Commission. So noon po, uh, nung kami humihingin ng pan para sa ating mga uh, funding agencies, hindi po kami nagkakaroon ng uh, fundraising dahil na nasusuportahan ng aming mga uh, <coughs> solicitation doon sa funding agencies. Pero dahil nga po, hindi na kami humingi no, na, na supporta sa mga funding agencies. So kaya po kami nang uh, nagsisikap uh, ngayon na uh, mag-isip ng uh, susuporta sa aking uh, programa para magkaroon po na katumaran yung mga uh, PVPs at program ng ating uh, Catechetical Commission sa Diocese. So ito po ay uh, ipinapaalam namin sa inyo para po kayo po ay mayroong question o mayroong kayong comment sa aming gagawin fundraising ay makakakot po na ito ay uh, masolusyonan kung hindi po agreed doon sa ibang Paris space eh makakisip ulit kami ng iba pang pamamaraan kung paano masusuportahan ito ng uh, fundraising po ng uh, programs ng aming uh, at ng aming donation dahil uh, <coughs> uh, may harapuan na mas naipatipad namin ito at lakas hindi naman po susuportahan ng mga Paris Priest dahil maraming question kung bakit kailangan ka kumuha ng mga ganitong sponsors na uh, minsan uh, marami din uh, fundraising ang uh, uh, mga Paris Priest ng mga Paris tapos yun yung ting tao naman ang ating hinihingan. So, siyempre, uh, mabigat din para sa kanila. Kaya, ngayon pa lang po, pinapaalam namin sa inyo para kung ito man po ay uh, matutuloy, ay eh, hinihingi namin ang suporta ng mga Paris Priest na uh, suportahan yung ating mga katikista sa uh, patracing na ito para sa uh, pagdiriwang po ng ating uh, golden uh, anniversary ng ating uh, tuwisyon. Uh, Maraming salamat. So, at the point, sisimula, kaya lang sister. Ay, uh, yung kung ating uh, financial report para po yung mga pari na nagtatanong sa Commission uh, tungkol sa uh, <coughs> report ng aming uh, commission para uh, iwanag po ni Sister. Focusing on, uh, yet ang uh, ihahanda namin module, 
and this will be included in the general academic strand being offered for grades 11 and 12 ng uh, DevCare. So, we will, yan na sinabi ko, we will prepare the syllabus. And kung ito'y ma-approve ng uh, DevCare Laguna at ating service schools, will be uh, offering these religious studies, not religious education. That is why, itong mga ginagawa ngayon sa 11 12, immediately after 11 12, students can already find work or go to work, depending sa kanilang co-coding strand. So this will be one of the strands under GAS, General Life Strand. So, hindi religious education, religious studies. Uh, yung ating program na sa post-professional education o application, napaka-lutable po yun. Maganda po ang project yun. Sa page na sa ating post-care, na we have three big high school schools, and then we have a big high school with a population of about 1,000 pupils. And then there are probably the private elementary schools. So, the schools are not going to be able to do it. And then, I have only, I have only four classes earlier when I, when I started the relationship with the parish, the parish district. Ang concern ko po dito ay maraming gusto kong mag-katikista. Maraming sa aking parish at gusto kong mag-voluntary katikist. Ang nagiging entrance lang sa pagtuturo nila ay yun na nga daw yung napakabigat na training ng katikista dahil yung professionalize ka daw natin. Masyado mo ano, masyado mo papahigpit ang training. Ang akit na suggestion siguro, wala po, mas simplified na especially sa elementary, ang concern ito elementary eh. Kasi lalo na kayo na ang dami ng mga board game na buhamas ko sa mga elementary sa board natin. Ay hindi naman mapipigilan ng mga principal na hindi sa paso, kung wala naman nagtuturo ng tatitis na doon na yung tuliko, pagkaman marami mga tuliko mga isunan nito, nabibigitan lang na nabibigitan yung mga kapulakil ng mga nabibigitan lang. Because we don't have any available. And the other reason na hindi tayo makapaglagay ng mga tatitis ito, dahil napakalangin po ang demand ang requirement na kinakailangan para kayo magturo kahit sa mga basics ng tatitis ito. Ang concern ko po dito, sa mga bata na mga maliit, eh, para di po, hindi naman kailangan siguro yung mga lumangin matakas ng theology na dapat i-toro i- sa mga patikis na siguro. So, for the fundamental, fundamental education ng mga bata, uh, mag-toro sila sa mga basic uh, moral uh, teaching siguro, moral kailangan uh, siguro. Uh, Siguro na may pwede ba ang trend sa yung trend doon na may bawa sa pagkali at pagkali ng mga rote na yan. Mas parang sa akin eh, mas ang siguro yun. Parang na duwa po siya po. Kasi napapapulutin ako, parang may 20 ka, 20 ka mga parishioners ko gusto mag, bali, magpapulutin ako. Kaya yung aming apat, apat na nakikita namin, we just, number of schools namin for the longest period na nag-exist yung parish namin. Pagdating ko doon, nag-exist ako na kailangan na volunteer tayo. Nalagay na ng alib. Mga one year ago. So, pero may naman yung parang yung pag-trainty ka mga gusto mong volunteer, na mag-training ka may alib na mag-alib. Kasi alib na yung tabako. So, naging isang po siya. So, siguro ba yung tapos na naman tayo? Okay. Thank you very much. Meron po po for a commission that if the parish can be at least 10, at least 10 volunteer categories, the information will be given inter-parish.
doon na mismo sa parokya. So, yan po ay alam ng mga katikista, ng mga coordinators, kung makakapag-recruit kayo ng at least 10 from your parish, doon na mismo gagawin sa parish ng formation. No? So, these are for regular catechists, catechist teaching in the uh, elementary schools. But from our experience, no, sa recruitment ng mga uh, different religious sites, more on high school students rather than elementary students ang nare-recruit ng uh, ibang sites. Uh. Kaya we want to focus more on public high school. That's why we come up with this associate categories. So we have three kinds of categories, regular, teaching in the elementary school, student categories, to become professional categories, and associate categories for the high school.
So, ayan po yung total disbursement. Cash balance, binawas natin yung deficit doon sa administrative PCC. Kaya ang natitira namin pera ngayon ay 520 So, ito naman po yung mga schedule. So, ayan po yung mga collections. Mga other collections. Then, ongoing formation. Sa formation, uh, wala kami ngayong malaking kasi sa ongoing kasi ginawa namin by district ang ongoing formation ng mga officers. So, para hindi malayo punta nila sa kalawan, ginawa natin by district. At dahil by district yun, district ang gumagas ko sa, sa ongoing formation ng mga officers, ng mga leaders, yung mga PCM officers. Then, yung Misyo Canonica, kinuha yung sa dahil kung binibigyan natin sila ng Bible, tsaka pinapakain din natin yung mga tapos ng Misyo Canonica. Then, sa Tultare, dumadal mo kami dati sa Tultare yung uh, Katikistan ng Southern Tagalog region. Ngayon taong hindi kami dumalo. Dahil sabi ni Father Serdon, kami lang tayo sa Ecclesiastical Province of Manila. So, itong may tell you, kami dalawa ni Father Jesse pumasok sa Dilasal sa Catechetical Supervision, Leadership and Supervision na ino-offer ng Dilasal. Scholarship po yun. Yan yung nagagot namin sa tirana sa pagkain. Pero yung question libre kasi scholarship po yun ng DLS, DLSU. Pag hindi namin tinapos, magbabayad kami ng 15,000 bawat isa. Kaya kailangan namin tapos na ganyan sa amin. So yung PCNG, dumalo sila ang staff at mga research team member sa Philippine Conference on UFW Relationation. At saka yung punta kami sa Cebu para dumalo sa annual Catechetical Ministers Meeting. Tapos nag-introduce ang ECHE ng National Association of Catechists for the Philippines. Dumalo kami sa Dilasan, kami ni na Father Selton. So, yan po yung nag-gast sa formation. Then, ito yung operational, transportation, communication, office supplies, water bill, DCP staff meeting, website. May well, 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 time website, si Father Jesse ang namamahala. <laughs> Then, office assistance, achievement test, diocesan evaluation and planning. So, para hindi po malaki ang gastos ng diocesan evaluation, sa mga pita po namin ginawa. So, wala na pong dumalayas na yung dumalayo. So, schedule for, ah, ito naman po sa annual catechetical day, ang nagasot namin sa catechetical day, yung pong sa along day, libre po tayo doon. So, ang nagahanap po na sponsor doon ay si Congress Man along day. So, yan po yung nagasot sa pagkain, sa dekorasyon, sa lahat-lahat. Tapos, yung catechetical teaser ng mga katekista ay umaabot sa 119 plus yung 60 at saka yung 8. Then, ang printing yung spiritual book ay sponsorship ay 16,000. So, yan po yung annual catechetical expenses. Then, catechist incentives, malaki ang nangkuhan ng District 1, kaya naka 49,660 sila. District 2, District 3, at saka District 4 ay ilan lamang yung nakakuha ng t-shirt. So, ayan po yung mga gastos namin. So, ayan po. So, ito po yung sinasabi ng National Catechetical Survey na sinagawa ng UST na nirequest ng ECHE. At ito po yung lumabas sa National Catechetical Survey. Ngayon lang po lumabas at ngayon lang nila ibinigay yung resto. Pero yung para sa dahil ng tapabu, hindi pa nila ipinapadala. Dahil nag-survey po ang ECHE para makita ang catechetical overview at situation sa buong Pilipinas. At ito po yung nabigay nilang analyzation. So marami sa Pilipinas, sa mga parokya ay kulang ng yun ang basic problems, a lack of trained, competent catechists, the need of a well-defined, feasible, and relevant catechetical program, and resources and support required to put it into practice. So yan po. The ever-present financial problems and the means of coordinating the catechetical program with other parties, faith formation meetings. So there is a need for greater collaboration with other parties and with the diocesan center is also called for, especially in the training of catechists and in formulating better 
long way sa the capital ko. So ayan po ang lumabas sa kanila ng ano. So sinasabi nila, the Paris Christ is the key source for the Paris Catechetical Ministry. Kaya salamat po sa mga Paris Christ na very supportive sa mga katikista, sa mga ngailangan nila, spiritual at saka material. So ito po yung sinasabi nila. From the National Survey, ito pa po yung sinabi nila. Among the most painful and hardworking servants of the Lord and of the Church in the Philippines, are the lay catechists. Take the lion's share of catechizing in the public schools and in the parishes. Their number is far too few for the children, youth, and adults that need catechizing. Kaya may sinasabi ni Father Delto na kailangan magkaroon ng associate catechist. Kasi nga, marami nung sumagkatikit, pero hindi nga nila kaya yung timan ng initial formation, tsaka yung monthly reset in service, tsaka kaya binibigyan po namin ngayon ng solution nyo na doon na mismo sa parokya, magkakaroon ng training ang mga katikista para hindi na sila lumalabas. So magkakaroon na ng diocesan activity ay bihira uh, once lang or twice. So ayan po. Pero ako kung question? Question pa? So kung wala lang question, we will take it as a... Hindi laging na tatanong lang yung annual retreat niyo. Kasi parang yung best niyo pa ako yung mabing natin. Ano? Ito po yung pinu-question namin sa District 3. Kasi sabi namin, marami retreat house dito sa Laguna. Bakit kailangan pumunta pa kayo sa Vigan Spain, sa Vigan, tsaka kung saan saan. So, sa ang offensive dito. At dito rin kayo kumuha ng district master. So, bali, district rin lang po yung malimit na pumupunta sa Cebu, sa Vigan.
Can you share with us what happened to the Bible Convention? Yeah. <laughs> 